Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while, but we're here. Got my brand new 2023 Skeeter FXR20. Gonna give you a little rundown of how I've set it up this year and how I'm gonna be running it on the Elite Series. All right, guys, we're gonna start in the back of the boat in the battery compartment. Back here, we've got three trolling motor batteries. These are X2 lithiums, all wired in parallel. These are gonna give me my 36 volts for my Minco trolling motor up front. I like the lithium batteries because they're gonna provide the most power throughout the day. It's gonna be 100% with them charged up uh, anytime I need them. All right, now we're gonna move over here to the power side of the boat. I have one designated X2 lithium for my electronics. Uh, all my electronics are wired through a C-Clear power harness. I've chosen to run one lithium, so I'm gonna have that designated you know power straight to my graph not gonna have to worry about all my pumps and everything on my graph battery uh, over here I have the AGM which is where all my cranking stuff's gonna come from all my pumps my lights and everything like that I'm gonna run off the AGM uh, 31 from X2 graphs um, strictly on the lithium with the sleek clear power harness also back here in the back along with the batteries we're gonna have two power pole pumps running the power poles and then the power pole charge which is going to keep all these batteries charged up uh, when we need them all right now we're at the back of the boat still the outside we've got power pole eight foot blades um, on top of the power pole blades we've got the russell marine products light so you don't have to put your light in every time you want to move or every morning uh, it's just real convenient moving on we've got the boss machine jack plate going to be really critical in shallow water and even in um, rough water a lot of people don't know that jack plates are good for shallow water and rough water bobs is the best on the market by far uh, moving on we've got the leash uh, don't want the engine coming up in the boat with me if i happen to hit anything uh, just really a safety precaution the main thing that powers this skeeter is the yamaha sho it's a 250 i've run one every year i've been on the elites and have not had a single issue one all right so now we've moved up to the console um boat logics graph mounts gonna be taking care of my two hummingbird helix 12s uh really like my hummingbird helixes for number one by far the lake master mapping We've got the new premium cards out really excited to use those this year but also the side imaging the down imaging and the 2d is second to none uh, I've, I've just really become accustomed to it i know how these things operate they're very simple it's just what i'm comfortable with and i'm looking forward to using them this year and years to come moving up front um boat logics dual mount again uh, really rock solid it's been very good to me uh, all the years i've been on the elites uh, on top, I'm going to have the Garmin 1026 for live scope. On the bottom, I'm going to have another Hummingbird Helix 12, again, for the mapping, the 2D. But a big deal up front with the Hummingbird Helix 12 is going to be the Mega 360 for sure. Uh, it is a key vital tool that I have to have on my boat. Last but not least, the Minn Kota Ultrax 112-pound thrust. This thing has been a workhorse for me all my career. Uh, really rely on this troll motor Throughout the year, I put it through a lot when I'm out there fishing, uh, but I can always lean on it, never have any problems. Um, I've got the 45 inch shaft on now. When I go up north, I'll put the 52 on. Along on the trolling motor, I'm gonna have the Hummingbird Mega 360, uh, along with the live scope, uh, forward facing sonar. Both of these tools together is really the best setup that I've found. Uh, that's why I'm running it this way this year, uh, and I'm really excited about it. All right, guys, so that's the wrap on my setup for my 2023 Skeeter FXR20, powered by the Yamaha SHO250. Probably the most excited I've been about a boat um, since my career started. I really like the way I've got it set up. I really think it's going to be a good year. Um, it's not going to be for lack of uh, anything on this boat. It'll all be up to me now, so we'll see what we can do throughout the year. Be sure to keep up with us and hit that like and subscribe button.